She's Miss Independent. Miss Independent. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Brianne Clarkson was born April 24, 1982, in Fort Worth, Texas. At an early age, she discovered music's therapeutic potential and used it to cope with family troubles. After singing in the choir and performing in musicals during high school, Clarkson developed her talent by taking lessons. Clarkson's classical training opened her up to numerous opportunities, including scholarship offers from universities and a few record deals. However, she turned them down and relocated to Los Angeles in 2001. Unfortunately, she moved back to Texas after failing to attract label attention, and she worked several jobs to support herself. The next year, she got her chance to pursue her dream of making music when American Idol stopped in Dallas. Everybody before me got rejected, so I was like, well, okay, it's been fun, you know. <laughs> so I walked in and I sang, and I ended up actually just playing around with Randy. Clarkson's successful audition secured her a spot as a contestant and sent her back to Hollywood. I definitely think you should come to Hollywood. Score! Okay, but you're through to Hollywood. Over the course of three months, the aspiring artist showed off her singing skills, vocal range, and likable personality through multiple elimination rounds. She survived the judges' criticism and audience voting thanks to her interpretations of several songs, and beat out Justin Guarini in the final round. Kelly Clarkson. As the competition's winner, Clarkson became the first person to earn the American Idol title and won a contract with RCA Records. During the finale, Clarkson sang A Moment Like This, which eventually became her first single. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. The track made history later that year after it jumped over 50 spots to the top of the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Her 2003 debut, Thankful, was an instant hit, and it topped the Billboard 200. The pop rock album also comprised her first Grammy-nominated song, Miss Independent. That same year, Clarkson returned to American Idol on several occasions and made her feature film debut in the critically reviled box office bomb from Justin to Kelly. Luke, you and I are just friends. Can't we be the kind of friends that go on dates together and, you know, mess around? I was thinking more the sister-brother type friendship. Following her second place finish in World Idol, Clarkson turned up the rock side of her sound with her sophomore effort. She also co-wrote half a dozen tracks on 2004's Breakaway, which became a top three disc. The the Grammy-winning record produced multiple mega-hits as well, including the title cut and the number two track, Since You've Been Gone. Clarkson spent the next few years stretching her vocal chops in performances around the world, including the 2006 Torino Winter Olympics. She also worked at reshaping her post-idol image by refusing to conform to what was normally expected of pop starlets. Her outspoken nature caused problems with her label, and soon she dropped her management company. She was also forced to cancel a tour due to low sales. Amid those problems, Clarkson released the darker 2007 album, My December. That effort showcased Clarkson's songwriting abilities as the artist helped pen all the album's tracks. It went to number two on Billboard. During this period, Clarkson also sang on television and at various events and later teamed up with Reba McIntyre on the Two Worlds, Two Voices tour. In 2009 saw the release of the chart-topping All I Ever Wanted. The Grammy-nominated work was especially notable for the single My Life Would Suck Without You, which made a record-breaking jump from the 97th to the first position on the Billboard Hot 100. The single Already Gone also made waves after it was released against Clarkson's wishes, as the singer felt it sounded too similar to Beyonce's 2008 song, Halo. Following a supporting tour, Clarkson collaborated with Jason Aldean on the commercially successful power ballad, Don't You Wanna Stay. Don't you wanna
Clarkson continued getting in touch with her country roots on 2011's Stronger. The number two pop rock disc produced the top 10 single, Mr. Know-It-All. Know you know and the number one smash, Stronger, What Doesn't Kill You. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, stand on Following her performances at Super Bowl 46 and the 54th Grammy Awards, Clarkson appeared as a mentor on The Voice in 2012. Kelly Clarkson is the perfect advisor for these kids because she's had hits, she's had ups and downs in this industry, and she's still the same solid, grounded person that she's always been. Thanks to her dynamic vocals, endearing persona, and determination, Kelly Clarkson has gained worldwide popularity and sold millions of albums. Despite ups and downs, she's remained grounded and passionate about music, so it's little wonder that Clarkson is the most successful American Idol contestant to date.